In this video, I will explain how to convert a 2D image to 3D logo using Photoshop. I will also explain how to have a white or transparent background instead of colored background like in my previous videos. So let's get started. Hello guys, welcome to Graphics App. In this video, I will convert this 2D image to 3D logo using Photoshop and we will also learn how to have the 3d logo without background so first of all unlock this layer use magic wand tool to select 2d image now go to refine edge tool here you have to select on white background now you have to play with few sliders smooth slider and contrast slider are most important here so you have to adjust the value accordingly so you don't, don't miss out the details i hope you are seeing over here okay let me zoom increase the value of smooth to larger extent then you will miss out a lot of details so you will always so always prefer to keep this value low i will go with the 5 i want to remove fringes of this logo you can see i hope you can see here i am going to increase the value of contrast to make it make its edges more sharper you can see that you can keep its value higher as compared to smooth value after selecting value come here and choose new layer with layer mask select ok so the white background is gone the edges are sharper now as well you can remove this layer now you have to apply the mask right click here and select apply layer mask I would like to change its color so since I want this 2d image to be converted into 3d and I don't want any background on that part so press ctrl plus n rename it to logo and use dimensions of your choice I will go with 7, 1280 and 720 okay now come back to this play previous layer first of all unlock this layer come back to pre previous layer use ctrl plus a to select all and then ctrl plus c to copy move to the next tab and then use ctrl plus v to copy now press ctrl plus t to activate transform tool and adjust its size accordingly while holding alt and shift keys looks ok so since i don't want any background on the final image so hide this layer first Come back to the layer 0 again use magic wand tool and select the white space and de press delete key to delete the background from layer 0 now unhide this layer in this video instead of adding colors i will try to add gradient to this layer so double click click this layer on the right side now uh, since i want to add gradient uh, click on the gradient overlay you can choose gradient of your choice I'm going to select this blue and yellowish one you can adjust the value and change angle as well from here press ok key now now is the same process as explained in my previous video I right click this layer and select new 3d extrusion from selected layer You have to switch from layers to 3D tab here. Select the first layer with inflation material and click here. Double click here and change color of your choice. I am going with I'm going to select the red one. Now come back to the third layer, which is layer one extrusion material, and select here. And diffuse you have to change the color of diffuse actually this color is going to be the 3d portion of your logo select the color which suits you best I'm going with this one You can play these values as well 
you can increase shine and also reflection as well I will increase the shine value a little bit and also reflection value you can repeat the same with the first layer as well increase shine and reflection okay now come back to the layers tab and select layer 0 and press postcard you have to merge both of the layers select both layers using control and then press control plus E now go to 3D and select render when the rendering process complete select layer 0 press right mouse button and select test drive 3D so now your logo is converted from 2D image to 3D and also there is no background so now you have to do basic color adjustment select this adjustment layer and add color balance layer you can increase or decrease the value of these sliders according to your requirement After that, add levels layer. Bring the right slider towards left and left slider towards right. Okay, after that, add hue and saturation layer. This is very important adjustment layer. Here you can see different versions of your logo while changing the value of only hue slider. You can increase the saturation a little bit and play with this new slider according to your requirement you can see different versions of your logo so, ok that's it you have converted your 2d image to 3d logo and there is no background as well so you don't need to remove the white background or colored background which is very difficult to remove from the previous logos if this video helped you to learn something new then make sure to like, share and don't forget to subscribe to Graphic Server. That's all from this video. I will see you in the next one. Till then, bye bye.